Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Joyce Palmer, who's the founder and president of JP Financial Group, and we'll be talking about guaranteed income for women in retirement. Joyce, welcome to the program. Hi, Mike. Thank you. Hey, you are welcome. I'm excited to talk to you because um, whenever you hear certain words, you know, it makes you think of something. You're like, you know, hey, what's the first thing you think of when you hear, you know, that little uh, uh, game? When I hear guarantee, it's like, okay, tell me more. So I'm excited to hear about guaranteed <laughs> income on how you serve uh, the women that you work with. But before we dive into that, give us a little bit of your story and background and how did you get into financial services? Sure. Um well, I too um, kind of resonate with stories. Uh, so I got into it um, because when I was a little girl, and I'm not going to go all the way back, but if I okay. heard this a hundred times, I heard it a thousand times that boys were good in math and girls were not. Mm. Um, and that unfortunately became the narrative for me and money. So growing up, um, I really hated math. I was not good. And I thought, you know, that um, when I get married, I'm going to marry a rich guy who's going to be good in math. And so okay. he'll handle all of the financial stuff and I won't have to worry about it. Um, fast forward, um, my Prince Charming, well, he came galloping in on a on a black Mishibishi Gallant. We got married, uh -huh. we had the family, and he handled all of the financial matters. And I knew nothing about financially what was going on. I didn't want to know and I didn't understand it. Um, unfortunately, he would take ill. And at uh, 38, he was diagnosed with a bone cancer and mm. the prognosis did not look good. All of a sudden, I was thrust in the position to have to handle the money. I had yeah. to make financial decisions. Um, and it was very scary. It was very intimidating. Um, and as a result of that, fast forward, um, um, I became a student of finances. I became engrossed in learning how to understand money, and I never wanted to feel so vulnerable, so helpless. And uh, as a result, I got licensed, certified, trained, and now I'm committed to helping other women um, feel empowered about money and not be intimidated by it. And and boys are not all good in math, and girls are good in math too. <laughs> I love it. And, you know, isn't it interesting? And this is for a whole other conversation, I'm sure. But those those phrases and things we hear way back in the day just stick with you, positive and negative. So maybe the takeaway right. there is what can we be doing today as adults to even the younger generation to speak words of encouragement into them to, you know, to, you know, uh, stand up and win and achieve and you can do it. And and those are the kind of things that really will uh, stick with them for for decades to come. You're exactly right. Exactly especially when it comes to money, because boy, we could go off on a tangent on how powerful <laughs> money is, you know, like how powerful in a good way it is, how powerful in a bad way. If you handle it well, okay, good. If you handle it not so well, it could really be devastating. So I, I love the mission that you're on. So let's dive into this topic, guaranteed income. Let's define it. What is it? What is guaranteed income as it relates to financial planning, retirement, and, and what you work with your uh, women clients with? Yeah. So um, guaranteed income, it's it's really like having um, a financial safety net, you know, in, in retirement. It gives you that steady stream of income that you can rely on regardless of what's going on in the market, regardless of what's going on in the economy. Um, and this is especially important for women um, who often face some unique financial challenges um, and having that stability um, is crucial for their long-term financial security. So the, the guaranteed income gives you that, that little bit of peace of mind. It gives you the ability to know that you have um, enough income to meet your needs. Um, and we know that women live longer than men typically. Yeah. 
Uh, life expectancy for us ladies is 81 years and compared to men at 76 years. So this means that women really do need to plan for longer retirement um, and ensure that they have reliable income sources um, to support them all the way through out their retirement. You know, you mentioned a word that jumped out at me, you know, peace, peace of mind, peaceful. And I think that there's probably a lot of people that would be raising their hand right now when I say or ask, have you ever watched the news or heard about the stock market Mm -hmm. crash or got your quarterly statement and just your heart sank? And it's like, oh, my goodness, everything dropped. And what's that going to do to my retirement income? So I think having that guaranteed income it, it, you mentioned peace, but I just want to put a, a pin in that and just go, that is so powerful for people that you are helping to have that peace of mind when their other friends might be uh, uh, fearing to opening up the mail or watching the news and they're just sleeping like a baby. So I think that's a gift that you're providing <laughs> to them. Yeah, yeah. I know. I look forward to that peace of mind <laughs> mm-hmm. with everything else going on in the world, being able to, yep. be able to sleep <laughs> right. at night point. That your money is okay and you're not going yeah. to run out, that, that definitely means a lot. Yep. And what are some other types of income? How is guaranteed income different from other things? Because I think in a retirement plan, you don't put all your eggs in one basket and whatever the guaranteed part of it is. Are there other things that people are typically putting their money in for income that you're saying, okay, now this one might not be as safe and and, um, uh, guaranteed. So what what are some of those differences from other types of um, options? Yeah. So um, unlike um, other types of income, of course, the guaranteed income offers you that predictability and the stability. Um, While investment income, on the other hand, it does fluctuate and it is largely depending on what's going on in the market. So your income is not necessarily going to stay the same. So the guarantee gives you that consistent, like I said, peace of mind, Uh, but other sources of income um, can be just as good. You just have to be mindful that they are going to be subject to market fluctuations. So one month it could be up, you can have higher income, the next month it could be lower. So um, that's the difference between the guaranteed income and using other sources like your investments. And and I think that um, when you're explaining that, I'm I'm hearing and thinking, okay, well, if if I look at market, you know, money in the market, um, you might be able to see some rates of return numbers that look really attractive, but what comes with that is a higher risk rate. And so why probably in whatever product that you would recommend for the guaranteed side of things, the number, the rate of return number, you, you compare that to like what's in the market and it's like, oh, that's kind of a difference there. Yeah, but it's guaranteed. And what if that market number didn't happen? And what if there was a big crash? Now it's way less and in fact could be a losing. So I talk a little bit about when people say, yeah, but a guarantee is nice, but look at that number right there. Yeah, but that's got some risk associated with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, the other, like you said, other types of investments, you could get more income. So it's always pros and cons or what I call advantages and disadvantages of uh, guaranteed income versus non-guaranteed income. So when you're looking at um, some of the advantages of the income from the market, it can be more um, and that may be appealing to some. Um, but when you look at the disadvantage, um, it it could go down. It could definitely um, drop. And that makes for difficulty when you're trying to plan, right? When you're trying to dictate yeah. or determine how much you're going to have to live on. So the guaranteed income plays a big role. It may not be the only way that you're doing your income, but to have something that you know, like clockwork every month is going to come in, um, same time of the month, just like when you were working, maybe, um, yeah. that you can you know, pretty much plan on and build your expenses around. That's where the guaranteed income becomes a major advantage um, in anybody's income planning. 
So if, if we could kind of start painting the picture of what some we we we've been talking about the words guaranteed income, what does that look like? What would what would be some examples of of products or financial tools that you would be recommending? And I know that it's not a cookie cutter. Here's the one thing I recommend to everybody. It's going to be based on what the client needs. But what are some of the things that that uh, you would be recommending uh, financial tool wise? Mm -hmm, sure. Uh, one of the biggest guaranteed income sources, um, almost everybody actually has it or can have it, and that's Social Security, believe it or not. <laughs> um, Social Security is a guarantee guaranteed income source. Um, and it's one of the ones that um, sometimes we take for granted, but it is one that almost everyone can have. Um, then you have other things like pensions. Uh, many companies in the past, pensions were very, very popular, and um, most companies offered them, not so much today, but pensions. Um, and then there are things like annuities. Um, fixed annuities, mm -hmm. index annuities are another great source of guaranteed income. So annuities and uh, fixed and index annuities is another great source of guaranteed income. You know, I think when people are hearing this and we're comparing it to the market, we're thinking financial product, financial product, financial product, but, you know, pension and social security, those are like, oh, yeah, I those are kind of like staples that people know about and you don't really think about that, but it, yeah, it's guaranteed. Now these days um, I'm sure that the percentage of people that, ha that have a pension available to them are dwindling really quickly because that's kind of almost a thing of the past. But if you have that, wow, what a wonderful opportunity that is. Um, what do you say to people that go social security? I saw that Google news alert that said it's going <laughs> away or what, you know, and we've, frankly, I'm 56 years old and I've been hearing that for 30 years. Come on, you know, social security is going to go broke. <laughs> it can't be going broke every year for the last 30 years. So I know that it's something that is on people's mind, but isn't it true that uh, the federal government will, will, is, is always going to do what, whatever they can do to make sure that that stays out there to take care of us? Yeah, I I um, you know, I get that a lot too. Um, social insecurity is what Yep. <laughs> right. Um, and and social security, yes, is definitely um going to be changed or be some overhaul done to it without a doubt. Um, but social security is um something that is a staple in um our our government, and it's something I obviously don't think is going to ever go away. I think it will change. I think the way uh, we know Social Security Day may be different um, as far as when you would take it and how much in that type of thing, but I don't think it's going to go away. Um, yeah. Social Security is especially important for women because the U.S. Bureau of Labor um, statistics say that women are more likely um, then men are to take off time out of the workforce or have a gap in their income. Yeah. So their social security benefits are usually lower. Um, yeah. And in many cases, it's their primary source of retirement income. So social security um, can't go away because too many people really, really, truly depend on it. Um, the other thing with social security is that it, like I said, it is a guaranteed source of income. Um, and it's essential for listeners to understand how to optimize their Social Security benefits um, by considering factors like timing and spousal benefits, uh, which um, could significantly impact their retirement income. Uh, women in particular, again, may be able to capitalize on strategies, claiming strategies like spousal benefits or widow benefits. Um, so all of that needs to go into consideration with Social Security and income planning. Um, so I don't want to get into the weeds on Social Security, but you said something that made me think <laughs> of a question that I think would be helpful. So um, I think I've heard somewhere that if, um, like, let's say in your case, you're working with a, a woman and she's got an ex-husband. And she thinks, oh, mm -hmm. I can't get Social Security from his stuff, but can you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, when we do our educational workshops, we do uh, retirement planning one-on-one -on -one for ladies. And so it's just women. We don't let any men in the room. And we talk <laughs> about um, that Social Security and that topic gets real hot. So you're telling yeah. me that ex-husband 
who um, I was married to for at least 10 years, <laughs> um, I'm now able to perhaps get benefits from his benefit. And the question, the answer is yes, that is possible. Wow. Um, yeah. There's some stipulations, of course, in that you need to, you know, um, consult with a uh, financial advisor on how to best do that. But certainly there are um, ways that you can um, maximize your social security benefits, yeah. even from a spouse. Mm -hmm. I think that's a tiny bullet point of a misconception that people have about mm -hmm. social security. Let's talk about yeah. a few other misconceptions because you mentioned the word annuity. And I think that, um, you know, sometimes I, I already mentioned this, you say a word and people think one thing. I think when you say the word annuity, people are like, oh, or you say the word life insurance and they're like, wait, wait, no, no, no. But permanent life insurance can be a spectacular way to grow income tax-free guaranteed, but annuities the same way people have misconceptions. What are some of those misconceptions people have about annuities, even though they provide guaranteed income? Yeah. Annuities um, do have, again, some misconceptions, but it's an effective way to um, secure guaranteed income in retirement, um, they offer the advantage of a lifetime income. So it's um, essential to um, be careful when you're looking at annuities to understand the terms and the fees associated with them. But annuities um, certainly can offer that guaranteed predictable income stream um, that's not attached to market uh, fluctuations. So it's not I'm going to give you any of the downside of the market, so it protects you that way. Um, and again, like I said, one of the um, um, one of the misconceptions I think with annuities is that um, it's uh, going to um, not allow you to have flexibility with that. Yeah, and that's yeah, not yeah. true. So it gives you flexibility as well, um, and. Again, all annuities aren't created equal. So it does mm -hmm. allow you to do some due diligence to research and understand the difference. But when it comes to income planning, I think it's a perfect fit um, for the person that's looking for that guaranteed income stream that they can't outlive. I love it. That's awesome. So let's kind of wrap all of these points up we've been making and uh, put it into an example. Have you uh, worked with a client that, without mentioning details or names? But what are some? Ex uh, is, what's a good example of how uh, you've worked with a a client and implemented this guaranteed income strategy? Sure. Um, we have um, we work with ladies as you, as you know. Um, we like men too, so I don't want to exclude them. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think of a, of a case or an example, um, and we're just going to call her Sarah for the example. Uh, but Sarah um, came into um, to our firm. And when she came in, she's a 60-year-old widow. Um, and she approached us because she wanted some guidance um, on how to navigate her retirement years. Um, and she was looking for that key thing, um, peace of mind. She wanted more confidence yeah. and she wanted to have a peace of mind. Um, despite um, her saving throughout her years, um, Sarah was concerned about the unpredictability of the market fluctuations and how that was going to have an impact on her income. Um, so we dived into Sarah. She had a couple of challenges, which are is not unique to her. Um, she has single income by being a widow, um, so which meant that there was no other sources of income besides hers, and that felt um, that made her feel a little vulnerable um, with the uncertainty of the market. Um, another challenge for Sarah was longevity risk. Um, so, with um, her family history of longevity and life expectancy, hers was well into the 90s because she had a, her mother had lived to 102. <laughs> so, so which is, which is wonderful. Concerned. But then, yeah. then now you have to figure out, <laughs> will I have enough money to, to uh, support me? Yeah, exactly. So she was really worried about outliving her savings and being financially insecure in her later years. Um, and then the last challenge that Sarah had, um, like many women of her generation, she lacked the confidence in financial matters. Um, her 
um, deceased, her husband had handled the finances. And so she was looking for a little bit guidance um, and some confidence to make sure she was making the right decisions. So what we did initially, we sat down and we just had an overall conversation like we're having now um, about money and about what her money narrative was and her fears and some of her goals, her dreams and her desires. And that's the centerpiece of any good plan. It starts with your goals and your dreams. Um, And then when we got into the income planning component, we did um, con- we conducted a thorough analysis of Sarah's financial situation. We took in consideration her retirement savings, her Social Security benefits, and other potential pension income that she would have. Um, and we started to look at positioning her income sources, recognizing that she needed stability. She needed some guaranteed income sources. We did incorporate the use of annuities. Uh, We also showed her how to maximize her Social Security benefits. Um, And then lastly, we gave her some diversification. Um, Mm. It's important to be diversified with your investments, but also diversified from a tax standpoint. And taxes is something, again, it's very, very important, but that's another that's another show. (laughs) But we did help her uh, mitigate some of the risk. Um, by diversifying and setting up both short-term and long-term investments and building in her portfolio assets that would also be income-producing assets. So throughout that process, the outcome for Sarah was um, we were able to um, position her with guaranteed income. We gave her that confidence that she needed to know that she had a reliable income stream um, to cover all of her essential expenses and everything in her retirement. Um, we gave her a peace of mind so she could sleep at night and she could focus on enjoying her retirement and travel and um, just be happy in her retirement. And then lastly, which I'm most proud of, is that we empowered her. She felt yeah. um empowered. She attended some of our educational workshops that we do for ladies. And in our sessions, each time we met, I could see her becoming more confident, more empowered um, to make, um, you know, to take control of her financial situation and feel good about it. I, again, you know, I hear peace of mind, I hear empowered, and those are intangible things that um, people don't tend to focus on. They tend to go, oh, and we got her a rate of return of X, or we grew her portfolio to Y. But when you're talking about peace of mind and empowerment, those are those are soft skills that um, that are just so neat because it builds that relationship where people then realize that you're out to help her, not out to help your back pocket. So that is just such a, a spectacular example. And Joyce, um, if someone is listening to this going, I want a little bit of that empowerment and peace of mind, how can they learn more? And then also reach out and connect with you. Sure. Um, they can go to uh, my website or it's www.jpfinancialgroupllc dot com. Um, again, it's www.jpfinancialgroupllc.com. Um, we have um, a wealth of information on the website. Um, they can also uh, listen to my podcast, the Proactive Woman Podcast. Um, and then they can, of course, follow and like me on Facebook, Instagram, um, all of our social media contacts out there. Um, and um, uh, listen to this podcast again as well. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. It's been a real pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Mike. I've enjoyed it. You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.